Hi everyone, my name is Cole. I'm Ian Steffes. And I'm DeAndre. We're here from Kettering University's Bulldog FRC Robot in three days, and we're here showing off some of the new components from Rev Robotics. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Well, welcome, welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now is supported by Kettering University. Over one third of Kettering's current students are former robotics team members. Go pro at Kettering University and get a free t-shirt. Students in grades eight through 12 and located in the continental US scan the QR code and complete the form by January 31st, 2022 and receive more information about Kettering. So to start things off, we have a new power distribution panel this year. Instead of the old one, we have a new, actually it's called the power distribution hub from Rev Robotics. So the main things with this is it now features 20 full channels that are all capable of 40 amps with new breakers, which it still features the traditional 20, 30, and 40 amps that are all color-coded. It also features new uh, breaker switches, which actually just flip up. No more using uh, screwdrivers anymore, as well as a voltmeter for the battery and new connections for the battery as well. They're just flip-down switches and also features uh, USB-C where you can check uh, the CAN interface straight from Rev's uh, client. So we're gonna hand it over to Ian. All right, for the second part, we have the radio power module, which this is the old one, which includes a lot of cables as you can see. So what Rev did is they switched it to this tiny little power module, which takes the input and then has an output and then has the little power spot right there. It's a lot less wires. All right, we'll switch it on to Cole. What I have to show off is the new pneumatic system. The old pneumatic control module is shown here. This has been a staple in FIRST Robotics pneumatics for some time. New is the REV pneumatic hub. The REV pneumatic hub uses a lot of the same new features as shown in the other components. We have new connection systems. We also have that USB-C port for us to check the CAN bus. Another useful thing on the REV pneumatics hub is to switch from 12 to 24 volts is a physical switch on the pneumatic control itself, whereas on the previous pneumatic control module, you had to pull out and slide in a connection to do that. So that switch is going to be a lot easier to make on the fly, and we have a whole set of nice new connectors that are going to be make that are going to make using this very easy. So thank you for joining us. This has been a brief overview of some of the new electrical components from Rev Robotics for this year and be sure to stay tuned and watch our live stream to see the rest of the Kettering Bulldogs FRC robot in three days. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Over one-third of Kettering's current students are former robotics team members. Go pro at Kettering University and get a free t-shirt. Students in grades 8 through 12 and located in the continental U.S. scan the QR code and complete the form by January 31st, 2022 and receive more information about Kettering. Thank you to Animark, Rev Robotics, and the Thrifty Bot for being official suppliers of the Bulldogs Robot in 3 Days. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.